A young boy, trailing through the halls of a church filled with love, joy, and unyielding faith. Raised in a Christian household, who's surrounded by people whose mission was to spread love, I was that boy. Effeminate? Yes, but unaware that my grace will sashay and chante through the pews that someday become a subject of scrutiny. One Halloween, I dressed up as my favorite drag queen for our church's trunk or treat. To me, it was a simple celebration, a joyous moment spent with friends and family under the all-encompassing love of God. For in that setting, I believed without a doubt that God loved me unconditionally. As I grew older, my identity as a queer Christian blossomed. In middle and high school, I joined a youth group that embraced service, mission trips, and community involvement. A group that by grace was teeming with LGBTQ kids just like me. Our leader, a beacon of acceptance, once told us, whether you're a believer or not, this church is a sanctuary for everyone. Her words became a cornerstone of my faith, an echoing promise of belonging. But life has a way of testing our foundations. She moved away, and in her place came a new youth pastor, a man who stood before us and declared that we were living in sin, that God's love was conditional. In that moment, I felt the ground beneath me crumble. My sanctuary was shattered. How can my own community, my own faith, turn its back on us, on children? I haven't been to church much since then. Life and work kept me busy, but that wound never fully healed and lingered. A persistent ache reminded me of the fragility of faith. In spite of all that, though, hope has a way rekindling. My accepting youth pastor returned and invited me to an Easter brunch. And stepping into that space, I felt something I hadn't in years, wholeness. It was like coming home, a balm for my wounded soul. This journey has taught me the profound impact of words. A single hurtful statement can shatter a person, but love, patience, understanding, and tolerance, they have the power to heal and to rebuild. We carry the salve for the human soul within us, and it is our duty to use it wisely. For every hurtful word, let there be tenfold in love. For every tear, let there be a hand to wipe it away. Careful the things you say. Children will listen.